Hi, this is Nick Horrocks in Cyber Digital Media Final Cut Pro Tutorials. Um, welcome back. This is a quick tutorial in response to a question from a viewer, Freddy TK421, on how to have an effect on a key subject, um, which then overlays onto an untreated background. Um, it is quite simple, but it's a bit fiddly. So we start where we left off on our chroma key tutorial. Um, and if you uh, haven't watched that, then I I suggest you watch that first because what we're going we could literally just take up from the end of that um, program. So first thing you need to do um, is copy the source footage. So Alt Shift and drag it up onto the next onto the next track. Turn um, our master off for the time being, and we'll just concentrate on this. So what we need to do, um, Freddy TK41 specified that he wanted to use the line art effect so we'll do that we'll add line art which is in stylize okay and we also need to add compound arithmetic and have that as an overlay and we'll just put composite mode on this one of multiply there you go um, now obviously the problem with this is we can see through them so um, what we'll do turn our other layer on and um, return to looking at our source with the line art effect on top of him which could be quite interesting as an effect on its own but what we want to do is we want to get rid of the source while at the same time using the matte cutout that we got with our chroma key originally. So let's just open that up. We need to add a couple of filters here, firstly being the um, HSV. Adjust um, with a value of zero and that will get rid of all our color there. So it goes straight to black. The other one, obviously, I guess you can guess, is channel invert. So that becomes white, and there we have it. Um, now I think this would probably work on a better on a darker background, so I'm just going to replace the existing one with a much darker background. So it ends up looking like that. Let's make that text stand out a bit more. Okay, now obviously this could be this could be any effect on this layer. So there we are. I hope that helped and I hope that answered Freddy TK421's question. If you've got any ideas for tutorials you'd like to suggest, then please do. Um, you can get hold of me on my channel on YouTube or you can email me at the website. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, be back soon with any luck. Cheers, bye.